<laughs> Gosh dang that Wilson he's back again and look at the mess he made. He will only regurgitate the most mainstream well-known information that everyone and their grandmothers would be able to find out. But we're not about that on this channel. Well now that this is here we might as well talk about it to its fullest extent. So let's begin a proper dive on maximizing the lure plan. So important thing to note here about the lure plant is that lure plants only have 15 inventory slots. Every 20 seconds a lure plant will digest one item independent of stacks. So that means it takes 800 seconds or 13.3 minutes to digest a whole stack. A don't starve day is 480 seconds or 8 minutes. So depending on the type of plant you are placing, you need a minimum amount of plants to get a gain of resources if you let the lure plant get to max inventory. Grass takes 3 days to regrow and saplings take 4. So based on the amount of time it takes for a lure plant to digest, you need at least 72 grass tufts or over 96 saplings to be able to cover the digestion timing and get a net positive of resources over time. Keep in mind that these numbers equal zero over time, so you need to plant way more grass or saplings in order to overcome the digestion. Another way you can do this is that lure plants don't harvest until they're loaded. So you can set up an area and go every few days when the lure plant is ready and kill the lure plant once they harvest. This will guarantee you the most amount of resources while using the lure plant. So then, how do we optimally plant lure plants? Well, it's actually kind of easy, and I will show you how to do it without mods. First as any character, and next as the best character for this. First, you want to plant a lure plant in the middle of four tiles. You can see this with the pitchfork. So what you do is dig a 4x4 area for the eyes to spawn. The eyes in this area are the ones that we will be using for the farming. The rest of the area can be filled with any man-made turf, or if you're feeling lazy, you can do this in the desert or the rocky biome. When all the eyes have spawned, go through and kill them one by one and plant a harvestable just to mark where the eye plant was. Make sure to try and plant it right where the eye plant drops into the ground, so you are looking for the center of its animation here. Once you do that, you can set up the plant you actually want to harvest all around. Once you've completed that and fertilized everything, Dig up the plants that were covering the eyes and reset your lure plant. This is how you can set up your eyes to be perfectly and maximize the space between the eyes for your lure plant. Keep in mind that you do not want to plant really close to the lure plant or else you will not be able to place the lure plant down. But you know, you could just skip all of that if you just do it with wormwood instead. You see, wormwood is immune to eye plants. They won't attack him when he gets near. So you can just straight up plant your harvestables all around the lure plant eyes and have it perfect each time. See the title's not just a clickbait. It's easiest to do with wormwood, but it's always important to show how to do it with every character. Just so that people who don't like swapping at the portal can have the knowledge too. That is all I got, thank you for watching. Go mass produce your resources, let me know how much you get. Till next time, this has been Tara from DVG. Take care.